Well, today is Give Out Day. It's a national day of fundraising on behalf of LGBTQ charities. And here in the Twin Cities, the United Way is raising money for the Arise Project, which helps LGBTQ youth who are homeless. And our own Mike Augustinak is one of the Givenators for Give Out Day. I'm really, this is such a great um, cause and great charity. This is my sixth year doing this. And uh, awesome. every year we've been able to raise more money thanks to your help. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm the conduit to get the, the info out there, but it's really you that does it. Uh, every night in Minnesota, there are 4,700 just kids, not people total, but 4,700 kids that are homeless. And when you think about that and what you were going through when you were in high school, right. it's homework. Hormones, uh, after school activities, just keeping all that stuff together yeah. is hard enough. But then to think about where you're going right. to sleep at night. And surprisingly, a, a large percentage of these children that are homeless are LGBTQ. So that's the tie in for Give Out Day, which right. is this national day of, of giving. 40% of those 4,700 kids that are homeless identify as LGBT or Q. And that, in many cases, is because sadly they were kicked out of their home when they came out or they didn't feel safe enough to stay in their home. So, uh, I have some trivia questions here All to right. kind of All highlight right. the need. Would you guys mind ready? Of course, playing of along? All right, uh, four questions. The first one, a Rainbow Health Initiative survey of 1,200 LGBTQ Minnesotans asked respondents to choose the top three health issues that need more attention and resources. Over one-third of the respondents chose homelessness. What other issue is the top concern? Drug abuse, mental health, bullying, or domestic violence? Oh, I didn't know we were going to get choices. Okay. I'm Am I turning say, this around? Yes, please. I'm going to say bullying. And I was going to say hunger until I heard the choices. Okay. I'm going to say mental health. It is, in fact, mental health. Oh, yeah. All right. uh, okay. When you talk about being gay, that's often a stigma in some communities, but sure. maybe a bigger stigma is talking about mental health issues. Yeah. And so that's something that we all need to address for everybody, mm -hmm. really. All right, number two, within the U.S., which region ranks lowest in LGBTQ phila uh, philanthropic giving? That means dollars invested per. LGBTQ person in that region, the Northeast, the Pacific, the South, or the Midwest? So I, I heard a little bit about this on the morning show this Cheating. morning. She cheated. Yeah, so I'm going to guess Midwest because I heard we're not great here in Minnesota. You are right. But no, are we the worst, the though? I, I would have thought the South as well. Uh, we are the worst as a we're region. The, we're the worst. And uh, your guess is as good as mine as to why that is. There's some thought, though, that because there is such a public persecution of these communities in the South that that kind of whips people up into a frenzy to, huh. to donate. And we think of ourselves as so giving and caring yeah. here that they think, well, there's there's no problem. Mm. So why why would false through the cracks? People yep. don't think about it. All right. All right, number three. How many states in the U.S. do not have laws protecting LGBTQ employees from workplace discrimination? Is it 15, 28, oh. three? Or 36. How many states do not do not have it? Okay, um, I'm gonna say about half. 28. Heather wins. Heather. Woo, yep. That's good. That's better nice. than I would have yeah, thought. But still good. not good. A lot of, lot of work to go. So yeah. if you want to give uh, today, we have uh, it set up pretty easily for you. If you just go to WCCO.com slash links, you can make a donation uh, to me or really to anybody in this uh, mm -hmm. region for Give Out Day. All of the money that's raised today for us, for the, for the Greater Twin Cities United Way Arise Project, stays here in Minnesota. So you're helping neighbors. Very nice. Heather, three for three. I was 0 for three. Well, what? Congrats. As, as, you don't leave them hanging, though. Thank there you. Go. I mean, as you said, I did cheat a little, but <laughs> I was because I was watching your show this morning. So. Very good lesson for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> swearing, your kids are swearers, oh and you're teaching them. But you know what? This is that. keeping it real. Oh. This is real mom <laughs> style right here. 921. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, you're